New at six tonight, insect invasion. The Rhode Island DEM says gypsy moth caterpillars are eating through leaves and trees in parts of western Rhode Island. The invasive gypsy moth decimated trees around here back in the early 80s. I did my share of those stories. NBC 10's Olivia Fecto tells us what you can still do if your trees have been affected. Olivia? Well, Gene and Patrice, the DEM says trees were just starting to recover from damage from the winter moth species, those little green caterpillars. Now they say most of the damage has already been done, but I spoke to an arborist who has some advice on what you can still do for your trees. Holes in the leaves, droppings on the ground. They're everywhere. Deborah Quinn's yard in Foster has been attacked by gypsy moth caterpillars. They're munching through just about everything, even attacking the canopy of leaves under which her dog Max's kennel sits. Put the kennel over there to be in the shade and the leaves are being eaten so bad that there's no shade on it. This year, there are quite a few of these caterpillars in parts of western Rhode Island, a throwback to years past. Arborists from Northeastern Trees say the gypsy moth's breeding period is from early April until late June or early July. Around then, the caterpillars will start to disappear. Cocoons will take over. We haven't really done anything yet. I don't know what goes on with the DEM and the sprays and what you can do now. The Rhode Island DEM says it's too late to spray this season and says it has no plans for an aerial spraying program. Most of the damage has already been done. The DEM says people should not cut down damaged trees, but recommends watering them to lessen the damage. Arborists say you can still apply insecticide, best done by a professional. In the fall, spraying can start again to kill gypsy moth eggs and start planning for next year. For Quinn, it's frustrating to watch her trees get destroyed. You see the trees right there? Look how bad that tree is. The leaves. In Foster, Olivia Fecto, NBC 10 News.